Hi everyone, I'm Linda of Roti and Rice. Today we are going to prepare Lao Mai Gai, a popular dish you may have encountered at the Chinese dim sum restaurants. If not, you have to give it a try. It's absolutely delicious. Lao Mai Gai is made of steamed glutinous rice topped with lap cheong or Chinese sausage, braised chicken and mushrooms. Good things always come in small packages and Lao Mai Gai is never served as a single main dish. It is taken in small portions together with many other Chinese dumplings at the table. Now let us take a look at the ingredients. Add Shaoxing wine and soy sauce to the chicken. And grate the ginger over the chicken. Mix it well and leave it to marinate in the fridge for about 30 minutes. I have an electric steamer here with about one inch of water in the bottom. Place dish with vegetable oil, sesame oil and garlic in the microwave and microwave on high for one and a half minutes. Add the soy sauce, dark soy sauce, salt, five spice powder, and pepper to the glutinous rice. Pour in a half cup water. and the prepared garlic. Give it a good mix. Place it in a steamer and steam for 30 minutes. While the rice is steaming, we are going to fry the lap chow. No oil is needed. Just fry it until it's lightly brown. This will take about two minutes. Remove the lap chong but leave the oil in the pan. Add the garlic and saute for about 30 seconds. Then add the marinated chicken and mushrooms. Also put in the dark soy sauce and cook for about two minutes. Mix the cornstarch with uh, half cup water and pour it into the chicken. Let the sauce come to a boil and cook for about two minutes. It should thicken and the sauce will be ready for the assembly of the lor mai gai. You can turn off the heat. You can see that chicken and mushroom is now cooked and uh, the sauce is nice and thick. After 30 minutes, our glutinous rice is now almost cooked. So we can turn off the heat. Here I have um, eight small bowls. These are specifically made for lor mai gai. If you do not have metal bowls, you can also use any small bowls or ramekins. Place a few slices of lap cheong at the base of the bowl, followed by some mushrooms and a few pieces of chicken. Then pack it with rice. Place a tablespoon of sauce on the top. All eight 
bowls are now filled. If you have any remaining sauce, do not be afraid to use it all up. This will make the lomaikai nice and moist. So use up all the sauce. Remember to add more water in your steamer because we're going to place the lomaikai back into the steamer and steam for another 30 minutes. And I'm going to place the rest into this pan that I have over here. And place this on the stove. Our lomaikai is now fully cooked. Once it's cool enough to handle, you can invert it on a dish and enjoy. And there you have it. Soft, moist and delicious lomaikai. Savour it with a cup of oolong tea in the comfort of your own home. I hope you have enjoyed this recipe. Please subscribe for future recipe updates and do write your comments below or connect with me via Google+, Facebook and Twitter. See you in the next video and as always, happy cooking and thank you for watching.